people just want me to write instructions for you when we get them? Yeah. I think somebody should decide staff now. I know Rob had a uh, piece of paper from the code. We had a piece of paper with his password. But it would only temporarily be activated or something like that. So I'm going to set up a meeting for Chief and I'll, then I'll type it out and with all the instructions. and.
Mr. Haas? Yes. Mr. Leon? Yes. <clears throat> School officer number four is just the uh, financial report. <clears throat> Has a request for a resolution to authorize the following transfers. I will so move. I will second that. Discussion. Roll call. <clears throat> Mr. Haas? Yes. Mr. Leo? Yes. Then fiscal officer number six has a request for a resolution to authorize a refund for overpayments uh, from the emergency medical services. So move. Fiscal officer six. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Haas? Yes. Mr. Leo? Yes. Includes the fiscal officer's report for tonight. Thank you, Mr. Flex. It's going to take us to our administrator's report, Mrs. Campbell. Thank you. Item number one is a resolution to scrap the 2003 Ford Crown Victoria vehicle number 7658. Uh, VIN disclosed there as it is no longer usable and has little or no monetary value. I will so move. I'll second it. Discussion. How many, how many of these do we really have left that? By getting close to scrapping, is it two, maybe three, three more? And I'm just going based on what I recall from the mileage. Probably, the Mileage yes. report, maintenance cost, all of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and we take everything usable off, the light bar, the radios, anything that we can reuse. This vehicle, after looking at it, is was not safe to put on gum deals or to resell. What do we do? What do we get approximately for scrap value? Is it a couple hundred bucks out of these things? Uh, around 300. That's right. In that area. Okay. We, who what mechanics look at? Yours or ours? Both. 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 Realistically, given the, given the age of the cruiser, there's probably not a whole lot that's reusable on any of the new, especially the Explorers or the Chargers. So. Yeah. Okay. Roll call. Mr. Leo? Yes. And Mr. Hawes? Yes. Item number two, I added on the agenda a resolution to authorize payment to Joyce Ejikawa from Fund 01B01 for the development of the winter newsletter, effective October 8, 2015. So moved. I'll second it. Discussion? Yes, this was my mistake as um, Joyce took her new position in the finance office and um, realizing we still needed help with the winter newsletter. Um, I did not prepare um, when the transition happened a resolution for the development of the winter newsletter. We did, we did discuss. It was discussed yeah. um, that she would continue to do it, just um, yeah. no resolution was for, was for prepared. The, for, the rec, for the record moving forward too, I know once um, our newest admin is up to speed, let's invest in some tra training Yes, this, uh, her, we've got, uh, Marilyn is excellent, and she's trained on all the, the purchase orders, a lot of the park issues, but I definitely will make this a priority, and we'll have several months to train her from the one newsletter to the other. Mr. Hawes? Yes. Mr. Lena? Yes. And that's the end of the administrator report. Take a start fire department. I'm going to turn that over to Chief Snyder. Yes, Mr. Chairman. And my item number one is the monthly report. I would like to say your entire team did a phenomenal job over at the uh, Albany Hospital. It was nice to see all outside the guys that were scheduled to uh, actually work the shift. Everybody else volunteering to educa educate our pu public and so forth on some of the different technology that we're utilizing as well as some of the stuff that's data that I think it would be pretty beneficial based upon the turnout. So okay. Okay. item number two is just an FYI uh, regarding the Great Pumpkin Race, the 18th annual Great Pumpkin Race, Saturday, October 31st, which we also help sponsor. They were needy. Um, that'll be at uh, 8.30 and 9 o'clock. So 8.30 is a mile run, fun run, and 9 a.m. is the four mile run. So just uh, snap my up here before, and then I'll get with uh, the Stride Cena regarding uh, some help for the barricade and so forth. He's not going to pass it. Perfect. 
And our last item is just, just to recap the open house. So we had a great turnout. I estimate probably four or five hundred people uh, went through there. And, and give thanks for the board support and also the guys that uh, came in off duty and volunteered their day to help educate and train the public that showed there. And, uh, and Closes out fire. It's going to take us to the road department. I'm going to turn that over to Mr. Icino. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Item number one is the monthly report. It is nice to see some additional levels of roadway uh, this year as compared to the last few. So, take care of a lot of our problem areas this year. The main roads. intersection study that I just received from the county engineer. Uh, I remember earlier in the summer we asked them to do a uh, study because residents wanted to turn it into a four-way stop. And I put the copy of the letter from the, the uh, traffic engineer and they're basically saying that nothing should be changed. Uh, there's not enough traffic. Uh, we will be moving the stop signs on Las Olas closer to the intersection as the suggestion at this time. And I have been in contact with the residents there. Okay. Thank you. That wraps up the road. It's going to take us to our zoning department. I'm going to turn that over to Mr. Ferrara. Thank you, sir. The uh, first item on the agenda is the monthly report. Uh, you'll notice that there's a different format. The, uh, the first format you're looking at is from our, our newer system. Uh, I think it, it's easier to read. I think it, uh, but you can look below it and, and compare. The uh, second item on the agenda is uh, nuisance abatements A and B. 
I will so move on zoning 2A and B. I'll second it. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Owens? Yes. Mr. Leo? Yes. Item number two, this is just a bit of a, a typo. It's actually a turf update. Turf teardown took place last week. We are in the middle of um, having the, the shock pad put in. Once that's done, they'll, they'll be layering the turf in. So we expect to be done with that project uh, no later than two weeks from today, but they expect it earlier. Can we plan with the, with the investment that we made in the turf over there with the winter sessions that come up? Really pushing the advertising effect. Yeah, we're doing service. that. It's ongoing. We've been doing and are doing right. to make sure that we are making folks aware of what they get for no extra charge. Okay. I was looking forward to hearing the Buffalo Cup mm -hmm. update before it occurred. Yeah, <laughs> not sure how that happened. Yeah. I'm going to say smoothly and hopefully I'll have nothing to report next week. <laughs> Thank you. Item number one is a letter of thanks to Rob Steinberg from Brent May, and it reads, I wanted to say thanks for your help last week with Delaney's ceremony. Everything was amazing, and your team was outstanding. The district appreciates your support. Brent May. Great work by, by, our, by our entire team, because mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the traffic, the traffic, and Anthony, you and I both say, the directions you're coming in, I mean, as soon as you turn off by the market or middle branch, I mean, it was backed up, so... I mean, just to that, too, the chief and, and the sheriff's department really were, were big helps that whole day. I can say, I know Lieutenant Springer was up early and working late. He's <laughs> along with the schools first thing in the morning. Okay. And thanks to the entire team. Excuse me. Then item number two is from one of our newest hotels, Home to Suites. Uh, to Chief Snyder saying thank you for all your service to our community. We appreciate your hard work and dedication. The Home to Suites, Canton. And that's the end of communications. Perfect. It's going to bring us to the portion of the meeting when public speaks. If there's anybody that wishes to address the Board of Trustees, I uh, need you to state your name and address for the record. And have three, three minutes. Is there anybody that wishes to address the board? Okay, that will close out public speech. It takes us to concerns of trustees. First thing we've got here, trustee vacancy update. Uh, just, just as an update for the sake of the media, nine of the ten individuals who submitted their name we met with last week. We did initial 15-minute inter interviews with everybody. Uh, we've got one additional interview that will happen tonight, and from there, Trustee Leo and myself will compare, compare notes and discuss next steps for proceeding forward. So that's update on our vacant trustee seat. The second item I have, Anthony and I actually jumped on a conference call today with the uh, State Treasurer's Office on the Ohio Checkbook Initiative. This is something Push for approximately what, two month, two months ago. In August. Yeah. yeah, the end of August. We do have all the files and documentation in the state. Um, essentially, thing they have they have everything uploaded. The only reason it's going to be delayed in rolling it out to the public is the treasurer's office is essentially doing um, mul multiple government jurisdictions being rolled out in groups. So we are awaiting the date on when that will occur, so that as soon as we know that, we'll communicate that so the public is aware of how to access that information, where to access it. There's a couple logistical things just on the back end. as a leadership team we need to work through because there's some 
metrics and so forth. We can see from the number of clicks to average time on site. And that, that as a board, you know, we can make a determination. I think we figured probably five or six, indivi five or six individuals outside the board and physical office. A few other individuals have access to it. But that is moving forward. We've done everything on our end. It's just a matter of if we want to see. Is there anything else you had in me? Well, we just have to review it. Figure yeah. out who's going to do it, review it, and let them know how you have yeah. work it to go. And they just they don't know an update as to when they're going to launch the next step. So, again, additional enhanced transparency for our public. Is there anything else, Trustee Leno? Do you have anything? No. Okay, that will close concerns of trustees, concerns of the fiscal officer, Mr. Flax. That's going to take us to the approval of the minutes. First being for a regular meeting, September 22nd, 2015, which I will so move. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Leo? Yes. Mr. Hawes? Yes. <laughs> then I will move on to special meeting for October 6th, 2015. I'm sorry. I moved on the approval of the special meeting for October 6th. And I will second that. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Leo? Yes. Mr. Hoff? Yes. We do have we do have a need for executive session, so be it hereby resolved by the Clean Township Board of Trustees, Star County, Ohio, to adjourn to executive session at 6.21 p.m. from this regular meeting is authorized under Ohio Revised Code 121.22G for the purpose and consideration of 1A, appointment of a public employer official, 1B, employment of a public employer official, 1F. Compensation of a public employer official. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Lino? Yes. Mr. Hawes? Yes.